When economists and investors talk about the health of the economy, there's one chart they all keep an eye on, the yield curve. It might sound technical, but this simple curve has a remarkable history of predicting economic slowdowns and recoveries. Hi, I'm Wanda Rich, editor of Global Banking and Finance Review. Today, we're breaking down what the yield curve is, why it matters, and what it can tell us about where the economy is headed. Let's start with the basics. The yield curve is a graph that shows the relationship between interest rates, or yields, and the time it takes for government bonds to mature. In most countries, economists use government bonds as the benchmark because they're considered low risk and highly liquid. Picture a line that starts on the left with short-term bonds, like three-month or two-year notes, and extends to the right with long-term bonds, like 10-year or 30-year bonds. The yield curve plots the interest rate of each maturity point. When you connect those points, you get a shape, and that shape tells a story. In a normal yield curve, long-term bonds have higher yields than short-term ones, That's because investors expect to be compensated for locking up their money for a longer time. A normal curve slopes upward. Short-term rates are lower, long-term rates are higher. And that usually signals a healthy, growing economy. But sometimes the curve changes shape, and that's when things get interesting. An inverted yield curve happens when short-term interest rates are higher than long-term rates. That means investors believe the economy will slow down in the future, so they're locking in long-term bonds for safety, even at lower returns. An inverted curve is often seen as a warning sign of an upcoming recession. Historically, this pattern has been surprisingly accurate. In the United States, nearly every recession over the past 60 years has been preceded by an inverted yield curve. From the downturns of the 1970s, to the dot-com crash in the early 2000s, to the global financial crisis in 2008. So why does this happen? It comes down to expectations. When central banks raise short-term interest rates to fight inflation, borrowing becomes more expensive. Consumers and businesses may spend less, and growth slows. If investors think that slowdown will lead to lower rates later, they shift money into long-term bonds, driving those yields down. That's what causes the inversion. There are other shapes, too. A flat yield curve means short-term and long-term rates are about the same, a sign that the economy may be at a turning point. A steep yield curve happens when long-term rates rise much higher than short-term ones, often early in a recovery, when investors expect faster growth and possibly more inflation. In short, the yield curve is a kind of economic mood ring. It reflects what investors collectively believe about future growth, inflation, and interest rates. To make this more concrete, let's imagine an example. Suppose short-term government bonds are yielding 5%, while long-term bonds yield only 4%. That's an inversion. Short-term rates are higher than long-term rates. It suggests investors think the central bank will have to cut rates in the future, likely because the economy is expected to cool. Now, it's important to remember that the yield curve doesn't cause a recession. It simply reflects expectations that one might occur. It's a warning light on the dashboard, not the engine itself. There have been rare cases where the curve inverted, but no full recession followed, or where other factors distorted bond markets, like massive central bank bond purchases. Still, it remains one of the most closely watched indicators in global finance. When it inverts, markets, policymakers, and the media all take notice. But what happens after an inversion? Usually, there's a lag. Historically, recessions have tended to begin anywhere from six months to two years after the curve first inverts. During that time, other economic indicators, like employment, spending, and corporate earnings, start to weaken. So what can investors and businesses do with this information? 
For investors, the yield curve helps guide decisions about risk and timing. When the curve flattens or inverts, it may signal a shift toward defensive strategies or safe haven assets. For businesses, it can influence borrowing decisions as short-term rates rise and long-term financing becomes relatively cheaper. Central banks also watch it closely. An inversion can pressure policymakers to consider whether rates have been raised too far, too fast. It's not the only tool they use, but it's one of the simplest and most reliable gauges of market sentiment. In recent years, the yield curve has been inverted in several major economies, including the U.S. and parts of Europe, sparking debate about whether another slowdown could be ahead. At the same time, strong employment and resilient consumer spending have shown that every cycle has its own twists. So, what does the yield curve really predict? It doesn't tell us exactly when a recession will hit or how severe it might be, but it does tell us how investors see the future. When the curve is steep, confidence is high. When it's flat or inverted, caution takes hold. In a world full of complex economic data, the yield curve remains a powerful, elegant indicator. One simple line that captures the collective wisdom and anxiety of the markets. I'm Wanda Rich, and this has been Understanding the Yield Curve and What It Predicts. Join us again as we continue to make the world of finance clear, relevant, and accessible.